In this video, we are going to replace K101 in the Collins R388 with the D-Lab K1S standby switching module. So the K101 relay switches the screen voltage to your IFs in the receiver plus it toggles the antenna line from the PL259 to ground when you go to transmit. So if this relay acts up it can decrease the sensitivity of your receiver and if the screen contacts fail you'll completely lose receive on your R388. So rather than trying to source one of these antique relays we're going to install the D-Lab K1S relay in its place. Alright to start the process you first need to have 6.3 volts AC available. In this case, there was a terminal strip mounted that had some 0.1 microfarad caps that went to other circuitry in the receiver with an unused terminal. This blue wire goes to the main power transformer, pin 8. So I have 6.3 volts available plus the ground. Before you disconnect anything, it is a good idea to mark your wiring. The first two wires here go to a normally closed contact. That switches the screens. The antenna switching is on the rear. The coil wires go down to the remote terminal strip. Normally there's 12 volt DC applied closing this relay, but the K1S will simply switch one of these terminals to ground. So you do not need an external DC supply. There's just two Phillips head screws holding the base of the relay. So now the K101 is loose. I'm going to remove the wiring, get that out of there, and get our other module in place. Installation of the K1S module is complete into the R388. Now, to mute the receiver, you simply ground terminal 1 on the remote board. No external voltage required. 